complete definition for a function swap in C++ to swap the first row with the last row of a two-dimensional array whose name is matrix having p number of rows and q number of columns. So prototype of the function is given. Let me start with this. To derive the body of the function, let me take an example. You consider a two-dimensional array with a three rows and four columns. For the first row, the index is 0, next to row, index 1, next to row, index 2. This is upper bound of the row, number of rows minus 1. Similarly, for the first column, the index is 0, next column 1, 2 and 3. This is upper bound of the column, that is number of columns minus 1. Here, the number of rows is given as p, the number of columns is given as q, so this must become p minus 1, this must become q minus 1. We need to swap the first row with the last row, so these two rows must be swapped. Now, for the first row the index is 0 and for the last row the index is p minus 1. Let me save this column index in variable j. So what is the name of this element? It is matrix of 0, j, where matrix is the name of the two-dimensional array. The row index must be mentioned first, followed by column index. What is the name of this element? It is matrix of p minus 1, j, where p minus 1 is the corresponding row index and j is the column index. So if you want to swap matrix of 0, j, and matrix of p minus 1 j. How can you write the code? In order to swap a and b, we have studied the code. It is like this. Here a should be replaced with a matrix of 0 j, b should be replaced with a matrix of p minus 1 j. So it becomes t is equal to matrix of 0 j, matrix of 0 j is equal to matrix of p minus 1 j, matrix of p minus 1 j is equal to t. Now, in this code, if I substitute j with a 0, what happens? If j is substituted with a 0, these two elements will be swapped. Again, in this code, if I substitute j with a 1, you can see that if I substitute j with a 1, these two elements will be swapped. Again, in this code, if I substitute j with a 2, these two elements will be swapped. Finally, in this code, if I substitute j with a q minus 1, these two elements will be swapped. So you can see that in this code, as j varies from 0 to q minus 1, all these elements will be swapped with these elements. So j varies from 0 to q minus 1. How can you write the code? 4 into j is equal to 0 j less than or equal to q minus 1 j plus plus associated with the for loop multiple statements are there so you need the curly bracket now you can see that t is one element of the two dimensional array the two dimensional array is an integer array so t should be declared as integer so this is the code used for swapping the first row with the last row of a two dimensional array